Hello, I'm Janine McGuire. And I'm Ari Lawton Simon. Together we're McGuire and, and Simon. Simon. And we welcome you to our third Thursdays show. Um, it is our February episode. Welcome. Glad to have you all here this Thursday, February 18th, 2021. 2020 is behind us. 2021 is here so and going strong already. Yes. Um, but uh, we're, we're glad that you're spending some time with us this evening. So and, uh, this uh, this month, we decided to dedicate our episode to the theme of love, sort of because of Valentine's Day, which just passed, <clears throat> and also because why not? And um, actually, just speaking of things I love, and I'm just saying a thing right now, besides you, Ari, getting more specific to you, I love your hair right now. Can can you like lean in and- Thank you, oh, thank you. yeah, there? absolutely. Um, I, color credit I, and cut to Carrie Jones at uh, Salon Chemistry, Wichita, Kansas, West 21st between Tyler and Ridge. Um, do yourself a favor and book with her. She's a color genius. Um, and this is just uh, no secret, just I, I play every day. People who know me know I love to style my hair differently every day. So um, this this is a dirty hair, a roll brush, um, two bobby pins and some hairspray um, at about five minutes. So, you know. Here we are with, with the roll. Um, in contrast, your hair looks beautifully clean and lustrous. Oh, well, thank you, thank you. It's, it's long, this is not cutting your hair for, I think it's a year now, actually, honestly. It's like, it's quite it's quite long now. Um, but no, I used the last dollop of my good shampoo um, uh, well, <laughs> before uh, I removed it of my pros shampoo. So thank you for your compliment, Ari, I appreciate it. And, um, oh, we should, we should, I can't wait till we get paid for these like hashtag ads. At some point, know, right? we're not going to pay for any of this product placement. <laughs> it's fine, you know. I I I love to like shout out to to quality, so nothing lost, no. but nothing gained either. <laughs> <laughs> but speaking uh, of uh, of of what we love in life, um, we love our guest for um, who, who's going to be joining us in just a minute. Um, Let's uh, let's get that set up. Uh, our guest is Christina Alabato, a performer that we've had the pleasure of working with a few times. And we will tell you just a few of her credits just uh, so you can have a little bit of background before she joins us. Yeah, so Christina hails from uh, sunny Phoenix, Arizona, as they say. Um, Arizona, I grew up saying Arizona because I'm from Kansas. Um, and at, uh, she skipped school and went right at 18 to travel the country with the first national tour of Spring Awakening because she's a... Um, and then uh, transferred uh, into, just like slid into a Broadway debut uh, in American Idiot. Yep, another really good, awesome rock yeah, show. Um, with our good friend Kennedy Coggle, which is actually how we got um, eventually connected with Christina. Mm -hmm. um, and she's been in so many other shows, um, including The Mad Ones uh, and Lazarus, uh, and a reading of uh, Flying Over Sunset, which is when we were like, what can't she do? We must work with her. That's right. <laughs> we really were floored by by just the the, the many, many, the, the magnitude of, of types of roles and types of uh, uh, singing that, that Christina was able to uh, to pull off in all kinds of musicals. And um, most recently, she starred as Gretchen in Mean Girls on Broadway. So we now welcome to our show, Christina Alabato. Hi, you guys. Hey. So, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to be with McGuire and Simon. Yay. Oh, we're so excited to see you. It's been way too long. It really has. Oh Obviously, God. none of us have been able to sing together for over a year now, but, um, but you know, haven't seen you in a while. So how, how are you? How are you doing? I'm pretty good. I'm good. I'm here. I, um, I'm taking a winter break and I'm in LA, which is nice. I drove across the country with my husband. Uh, it took us four days. And like you said, I'm from Arizona. How did you say you said it, Ari? Because I say Arizona. Oh, I say Arizona too, but yeah. here on the East Coast, they say Arizona. He's always yeah. just... Arizona I mean, is Arizona. Arizona. I would say Arizona. Yeah. My I'm husband. an Arizonian. Yeah. <laughs> All right. um, but yeah, so I drove to hang out with my dad in Arizona and then um, we're we're here in LA and it's been really nice to kind of escape the the snowstorms that keep happening. Oh my God. That's true. We but just, I, yeah, it's been good. We just had like the really one, like bad one, you know, like 10 days, two weeks ago or whatever, um, where they were like, oh, it's gonna be seven to 12 inches. And I had 22 inches on my balcony. Um, and there are still cars under snow in my neighborhood. Like there's still no parking. Oh it, 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 it's, it was piled so high, it hasn't melted yet. It's crazy. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> oh, 
But yeah. Yeah, you're in the beautiful sun now. Love it. It's really nice to be here. And like, I do miss New York though. I mean, LA and New York are so different. Um, I miss New York, but I miss the New York we know without COVID where we're singing concerts and doing stuff. So it's kind of nice to, you know, I don't mind taking a step away from New York because I know I'll be back there. Yeah, absolutely. When it, when it's when it's home, it's home. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah. So what kinds of uh, what kinds of stuff have you been staying busy with in this time where we can't be doing our normal activities yeah. of doing every, you know, as, as you would be doing probably every, every reading, every concert, <laughs> you know, popping around and then, you know, performing on Broadway, the whole thing. What, uh, what, what do your days look like these days? Yeah, I've surprisingly like stayed busy, which is very me that like somehow I scrap together like not having time to do anything but all the things I'm doing which is good and it makes me happy in a different way though obviously like this week I'm doing a read you know things keep going on I'm doing a reading of a new musical and development we're doing it on zoom and uh and it's going we're recording all the songs before we do it um and learning and um it's pretty cool to like continue to work on theater um even though you know, theater as we know it right now is not happening. So it's been cool. So just doing some theater stuff and like, uh, you know, I've stayed busy with, I'm, I'm an animation voiceover artist as well. So I'm, um, I'm the voice of three characters right now on two different shows, which is really nice. So um, one of them is called Pantheon on AMC, which is an hour long drama that's coming out next year. I'm so excited about it. We just started season two, all that's been happening during during the pandemic. And then I have my other two characters on a show I can't talk about, but that's been really fun too. Um, so, you know, just like doing all types of things. I mean, that's just fun about being an actor and a performer. You, you sort of have to, I mean, forever and always I'm, putting my eggs in other baskets. So just right now, you know, since theater's on pause, it's just kind of focusing on other things, which, yeah, I still miss the stage though a lot every day, all the time. <laughs> we all do. It's it's come, it's coming, she's coming back. We will, yeah. she'll come back. She'll come back. Yeah. Stronger than ever. And as, as we were sort of, you know, mentioning before, one of our, our favorite things about working with you was your versatility, that um, one of the the times uh, that we worked together that Ari and I were just uh, reminiscing about was, um, was our Look Up concerts. We did a, a series of two different concerts in New York at Green Room 42, um, where we had um, music from three of our shows, Express, Could Be the Space Dog and Borders, and additionally, a standalone song that you performed. And just um, your ability to first of all, learn all that music, like amazingly, just, just amazing musician, but then seamlessly, you know, um, take on all these different characters. We were just like, like, you're our favorite kind of person to work with. You know, we were, we had an amazing cast that, 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 um, the, for those two concerts full of performers who loved to do that. But just when we think of, you know, someone who is just like game and, um, and just, just, you know, brings her whole self, you know, to whatever part like comes, we, we think of you. Oh, thanks. That, that's very sweet. It means a lot to me. But I've loved working with you both. And I'm so glad that we got connected, I guess, through Kennedy, which in, in the intro, I kind of forgot about that. that that's sort of how we got connected. But um, I've always loved singing your music because it's like, um, it's just complex in the best way and very fun to sing and interesting. And I love the stories that you all are always looking at. And so, you know, Ari, you know, I'm that that flautist in me loves reading your dots. So yeah, I would say for all of my my uh, high school students that will watch this video and geek out because you all like are gagged by Christina, like pay attention to my theory class, okay? It gets you work. It, it gets you so much work. And it makes it so much less stressful sometimes with like the how quickly we have to learn stuff just to be able to know how to read a little bit. It really does make a difference. At least I, I it has for me for sure. Like so, yeah. yeah. Let's just connect the dots. Um, speaking <laughs> of which, um, I, Christina connects the dots beautifully always, and she did so on this standalone song of ours, um, which. Uh, fits the theme of this of this week of love. Mm -hmm. um, and so uh, Janine, do you have a way to share that with the masses? Uh, yes, let's do it. Um, this is Christina Alabato in concert performing our song, I Love You More. I love you more than morning dew. I love you more than sky so blue. More than
than soft April showers. I love you more than starry skies. I love you more than fireflies or a field full of flowers. I love you more than summer nights. Boy, you outshine the city lights. You're my sun on a blah day. I love you more than Broadway shows. I love you more than fancy clothes. Heaven knows. Love you more than a spa day. I love you more than sunny skies or waffle fries. A Nobel Prize. All I need is the look in your eyes. It's one. I love you more than rent control or a dress that has pockets. I love you more than chocolate cake or a delicious malted shake like they make down at old Johnny Rockets. Love you more than cheese fondue. I love you more than good shampoo from a sale at Sephora. I love you more than Game of Thrones or buttered scones or Leslie Jones or even Jones Common. or blues guitars, or open bars. You're my moon, my sun, and my stars. It's you that I adore. I love you more, 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 more. I may love a lot of things, but baby, I love you more. Baby, I love you. I love you more than Google Maps. I love you more than midday naps. When I'm bundled in bed sheets, I love you more than leafy greens, designer jeans or limousines. Yes, queens. More than formatting spreadsheets. I love you more than climbing trees, the ocean breeze, the Florida Keys. I would sail the sand to know that you love me too and know that may be true I can promise you I love you more more I love you more Yay. Yay. Oh, thank you. I, we love that performance. And man, it was so fun to do with the full band, you know, also it just, um, it, uh, that's just, that's just a, a video that I'm really glad we were able to capture and, uh, you know, shout out to the band, including my husband on guitar, Valentine's day tie in, um, Woo. <laughs> yeah, uh, that um, that just uh, we were so happy that we that you uh, that you sang that song in concert for us twice. Actually, in two, it, am I am I wrong in actually remembering that we did it actually in different keys both times? Or Ari we never. did, we did, we actually we did it a step lower the second time, mm -hmm. um, just because we Ooh. decided it would fit uh, fit you better, and it was just like, and everybody, it just like the whole thing just like sat in so well, and it was just like it locked, and it was it was great. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad. Thank we yeah, that was this. So I guess this this was the, what we just showed you was the second time we did it. <clears throat> and yeah. it's so interesting because I remember this actually this day in rehearsal where um where Christina, you um I love this because like you knew your voice so well that that you know you had a very specific suggestion of just like well what could could we try um you know changing the key just one step and and see how that you know changed it and you know of course I thought both sounded beautiful but this <laughs> you were you were totally right that it fit like your um 
just your, your exact yeah. range is kind of it is funny how that can like really make a difference for a vocalist. And like, you know, I think my challenge always is like the very brainy musician that I am is like, I want to be able to make it work in whatever key, but in the concert scenario that we were doing, I was like, you know, whatever we can do to make this good for you guys in that moment. And my like brainy, like trying to figure it out can come back later when I have more time. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I, and I just, I think it's such a great, you know, um, just example of like just advocacy for yourself as an artist and communication, like in collaboration, you know, and it's like, we just, we found the thing that worked like no ego, just like, this doesn't feel good. What can we do? And that's like why we love working with people like you because it's just like, just let's just do it. Yeah, exactly. And I want it to be good for you all too. Cause like, it's not, you know, I think that's what I talk about with young people a lot is that like why I love development and collaborating and working with new composers and working on new musicals is that like, it really is a collaboration between the actor and the writers and the people working on it. And it's not just about like, I need to sound good in my performance. I wanted it to sound bomb for you all, not just for me. And so I think that like understanding that, and I always tell young actors that it's really not about me, it's about us. And that's, I, I do keep that at the forefront of my brain. Yeah, the theater is a team sport, like, you know, and one that that requires like a hundred percent from everybody. No, no three fifty batting averages, right? It's like hundred <laughs> percent. Exactly. All the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and um, and especially on a uh, you know uh, that was a standalone song too. So I mean, we were we were more you know it, it's always so fun to just see like well, what you know what can we can we play with you know with uh with an artist you know like it's like things can be so open to interpretation and that can be like that could be the really the really fun thing i mean technically actually the song i love you more did originate in um in a musical that we were working on with our friend jess ann smith um which sort of was almost like a um it used a bunch of mcguire and simon songs um that ha had already existed in this uh comic one woman storyline and but she did request that we wrote we write one you know new song to to be the culmination of, of of this piece, and um and that's where I love you more was born. So technically, it does have its origins, you know, in in you know being a theater song, but um but how it's been presented mostly since then has been uh just as as our really our most popular standalone, and um you know that's uh, I think our most popular sheet music sale I believe as well too sheet music available uh, mm -hmm. on our website and on contemporarymusicaltheater.com. Um, but it's you know it's I, I just love those um you know when uh when artists you know such as yourself Christina. Uh, can you know take a standalone song like that and just make it your own in concert? You know, it's just like it's so fun to just sit back and just sort of see like what what each person does with it. It's so fun. I love it. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, well, thank you again so much for joining us here on our Fit Thursdays. We're like so glad to have you here, <laughs> and can't wait until we can be together in person again or digitally if that happens first. Um, and. Uh, we just wanted to let everybody watching know that the video that we showed you is actually part of uh, that second go round of our Look Up concert, um, which is going to be coming out soon on a new platform um, that will be uh, selling like a, with a, a paywall, uh, but to raise money for the Actors Fund. Um, and so you'll be able to um, stream that entire concert, including Christina's performance in several other numbers uh, as different characters and some other fantastic Broadway talent. Um, and so watch our pages uh, for more of that information coming up soon. Um, and if you'd like to follow Christina, which you absolutely should, um, <laughs> you can do that at her socials. Um, so at Christina Lovato or at her.com. Um, and uh, definitely keep your eyes on her because like, as as soon as as the world opens up again, like her rocket's ready to blast off uh, <laughs> in the total, complete, deserved stardom. Um, so, uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. This was so nice. It was really nice to catch up with you both. I definitely yeah. miss singing together, and we will again soon. I can't wait. Absolutely. We will again soon. And Thanks we'll so see much for you being all here. Next third Thursday. Yep. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. See you next time. And thanks, Christina. Bye. For